Hello everyone! This is the Dayton Audio Low Frequency DSP Controller. It's called the DSP-LF. It's basically like uh, a mini DSP, but it's only a hundred bucks Canadian from Amazon. Or you can buy them directly from uh, Parts Express or from Dayton Audio, obviously. Uh, the app cost zero, uh, available on iPhone and Android uh, phones as well. The pro version of the app is only available on iPhone. Uh, the pro version is only $6.99. So basically the price of this and the app, it's about $107. So $110 you get pretty much uh, mini DSP and uh, U-Mic 1 and REW all built into one. Uh, but I'm not going to be talking about that yet. I'll be talking about another functionality that most of you will never realize this unless you, you try it yourself. I've tried this functionality about 30 years ago. Well, no, closer to 40 years ago with uh, Pioneer DSP 101, which is uh, a subharmonic synthesizer. I uh, will explain to you about the subharmonic synthesizer in a minute. And so, yeah, stay tuned. Let's see what's inside here. So that's the instruction manual. This is the toy. Tiny and lightweight. You can see the line out, line in, and micro USB input for power. What else is in here? Oh, everything's already included. So that's, yeah, that's RCA to 8 inch. This is for the power cable. Power adapter is included. And another eight inch to RCA. Perfect, I don't have to buy anything anymore. Everything's in the same box. Plug the power in. Get the other end, where is it? Plug the side in. So tight. Put one cable as a line out. And another one as line in. Ta -da! Once connected, go to your phone, open the App Store, and download the iWoofer app. Now, you can also download iWoofer Pro if you want to and you can get better control, you can fully calibrate your subwoofer. But in this particular case, you don't need to. Now open the app itself and allow it to handshake with your DSP LF using Bluetooth connection. From there, go to the SHS control, which is subharmonic synthesizer. This functionality will generate harmonics at half the original frequency. So that means if the kick is at 40 hertz, you will also feel the kick at 20 hertz. The original kick at 30 hertz, you will feel the kick at 15 hertz. It's a lot of fun. This has nothing to do with accuracy, of course. This is just a fun thing for you to explore. You can use this for your butt kicker, just like uh, what I'm using right now. And for my preference, I use 50%. So that means 50% will be the original frequency, 50% will be the synthesized frequency. But if you're using it for your subwoofer and not butt kicker, I recommend 25%. So that means 25% will be the synthesized frequencies, 75% will be the original frequencies. This way, the synthesized frequency will not overwhelm your senses. It's a lot of fun. Try it out. In a worst case scenario, you lose out $110 and you still can return it to Dayton Audio or Parts Express or back to Amazon, right? So what do you think about this video? 
Do you like it? You don't like it? You hate it? You abhor it? Leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.